at joining fly line to backing. This here is where we've stripped the line using this method. So we double up the backing, making a loop again or a noose. We pass the fly line through, through the noose. We tighten really hard down onto the fly line and we then strip the fly line from the core line which is a braid material. We're just going to cut that little kink off the fly the back in line here and give us some more length. Now we can do what we call a blood knot. So a blood knot is just when we cross both lines over and the one on the right as you're looking at it will go over once, twice, three times and then we'll take that and push it through that loop pull it away behind us. We'll then go with the one on the, your left. We'll go the opposite direction from the way we started. We'll go once. We'll go twice. Three times. And we see this little hole here at the end. We're looking directly at there. We push that one through that hole. So we end up with that type of thing. What we do is we take up the slack with both, by pulling both ends, just take up the slack and slowly pull both together and that will end up in a really neat knot and a very, very good way of joining backing to fly line. That knot will run through the rings of the rod absolutely easily. No problem at all. We can just then take our scissors and we can trim this very closely. We're pretty certain, in fact, we're not pretty certain, we are certain that that will never, ever break. It is a very, very good note, and a note you can use on the river bank. It takes seconds to make that note. We'll just let the camera look in at that again. Nice and neat. Tapered at each side, so it'll run through the rings quite easily.